Hey, this is Professor Faye with your anatomy lesson of the day. Here we've got the digestive system diagrammed out on an anatomy and clay model. And so first we'll start by going way up to the head. We've got the hard palate in white and then the soft palate, the very tip of that is called the uvula. This bluish thing is the tongue. And so food would pass through the mouth. And then down, uh, you can also see the trachea here and larynx. Food's not going to go through there, but the epiglottis is going to cover the larynx so that food doesn't get in, you don't choke. Food will get passed back posteriorly to this red thing, that's the esophagus. It comes all the way down through the neck, all the way down through the thoracic cavity, and then joins up with the stomach. The stomach is divided into a few regions. The first is the cardia, which is the first part of the stomach that food would enter. Then there's a bit of the stomach over here called the fundus, passes from there to the body and out the pylorus. The pyloric region of the stomach meets up with the duodenum, which is the first part of the small intestine, and then it passes through the rest of the small intestine that you can see here. The middle section is the jejunum, and the last section is the ileum. So as the ileum meets up with the cecum of the large intestine, you can see this little structure here, that would be the appendix, which is a lymphatic system structure. It's just nice to give it a little wave right here. So food would go then up from the cecum, up through the ascending colon, it would turn at the hepatic flexure, also called the right colic flexure, goes across the transverse uh, colon, takes a turn at the splenic flexure, also called the left colic flexure, down the descending colon, through the sigmoid, which has a gentle S shape to it, and then eventually out the rectum and anus into the toilet. So then a couple other things on the large intestine, you can see some little dots there, those are called epiploic appendages. And you might be able to see kind of a groove that runs the length of the intestine. This is a longitudinal band of muscle called the tenia coli. Off of the stomach, there's a lesser curvature and you can sort of see a little bit of yellow in there. That would be called the lesser omentum. And then this yellowish would be the greater omentum, which would normally cover the entire um, large and small intestine, but I've got it cut so as to be reflected to be able to see these organs here. The last thing on the liver, the liver's got a right lobe and a left lobe, a couple of other lobes that you don't see here. Um, but then on the underside of the liver, there is also the gallbladder. And so that is your digestive system in a nutshell.